years of selling overpriced shoes, I got what I, I thought would be a calm, dignified job at a bookshop. And at last I thought, here was a, a job where the product I was selling was something that I genuinely cared about. Someone where I could be actually helpful rather than you know, sly, enabling, mendacious. But to listen to customers in a bookstore is, is to hear the zeitgeist come roaring out like the devil at an exorcism. Because you see, this older lady with a, with a palm and a, and a limp and a sort of big quacking handbag waltzes in and she says, Oh, hello. I know you're a bookstore, but I'm just desperate to find the Telstra store that used to be in the center. I reluctantly answer and slightly Google. Um, yes, well, it seems that uh, your best bet is at Warringah Mall. But the old palm lady is incredulous. Oh, are you sure there isn't a closer one? Rigorously Googling now. No, no, uh, that's definitely the closest one. Are you sure? Well, no, but Google seems to be. And then she stops and she breathes in. Thank you. She's not moving. Can I help you with anything else? And before you know it, she's out the door, gone. Limping but well informed. <laughs> and then this, this righteous magpie sort of lady walks in with her drooping, sweetly bespectacled son. And the sweetly bespectacled son puts down a lavish new autumn Yotalingi cookbook on the counter and he says, Hi. Um, can I get this one, please? And, um, oh, and can I get a gift wrapped as well, please? Sure, I say, scanning it. Um, I'll just wrap it for you. Is it for a, a man or a woman, or it doesn't really matter? And then he hesitates with it. Oh, oh, and the righteous magpie lady comes swooping in. What does that matter? Why are you asking that? I know, I know, sorry. So sometimes people can be, you know, particular. Well, I don't see why you should pander to them. I mean, you do, you're just wrapping a present. Why would you do that? And she's waving her hands around in the air violently, trying to think of the words to describe this deeply iniquitous patriarchy high-fiving thing she seems to be doing. Meanwhile, the phone is ringing, but I gallantly help her to finish her sentence. Why would I reinforce strict gender binaries? Her magpie eyes are glinting. I'm going to get swooped. Yes, exactly. Why would you do... That I avoid the swoop. Hello, this is uh, Elias North Shore Books. Hello, get out the Bill Leaks book. Oh, God, it's a shouter. Um, hi, please, just do hold for one second. Look, I, I know. I believe me. I'm sorry. It's just that sometimes people have asked me to rewrap things if they think they're not masculine enough or, or or feminine enough or vice versa. I know it's a fig leaf. But that's why I throw in that extra third option. I, that's ridiculous. She snaps. Why would you give in to that sort of thing? I am now. Writhing. Pandering is sort of part of my job. Hello! The Art the Bill Leaks book! Look, I, I saw it advertised in the Australian and I, I want it for Christmas. Yes, well, um, could you please just, just hold for one second? Look, look, this book is for a man, but I don't want masculine rapping. No, of course not. What the fuck is masculine rapping? Look, um, how's, uh, purple? How's purple? Purple? Purple is fine. Hi, sorry, which, uh, which Bill Leaks book were you after? Well, how many are there? Well, there are about, um, uh, well, three. Um, assume you're after the latest one. We've actually got one left. I can put it on hold for you if, if you like. Well, well, are you sure? I don't want to make the trip for no reason. No, no, I, I, I've got it in my hands. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on hold for you now. And in walks just who I need. This cheerful old British chappy whom I've suspected as a neo-Nazi ever since he ordered a copy of Mein Kampf last year. No, no, mate. I, I'm looking for a couple of books. I, I don't have all the information yet, but uh, you've never let me down yet, have you? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sure. What's the, what's the first book? All right, first book, keywords, Rhodesia, SAS, defense. Now moving the needle of my neo-Nazi gouge to very possible. Um, sure, I'll check, and so I do. And I Google to find a boy's account of the Rhodesian essay as his counterinsurgency with the perhaps accidentally erotic title of A Handful of Hard Men. <laughs> and um, the book is called A Handful of Hard Men. Um, and I'm afraid it's not available in Australia. Ah! And then he winces, cartoonishly so, in a completely charming and non-Nazi way. Ah, uh, that's all right, that's all right, mate. No worries. Actually, would you mind writing the second one down for me? Sure, I am now enabling the very possible Nazi. Um, uh, uh, what's, what's the title of the second book? The Bad Boys of Brexit by Aaron Banks. Okay, 
Um, I'm afraid it's not available in Australia, uh, but we can get it in for you. I hate myself. <laughs> Hello, United Book Distributors. Uh, this is Jan speaking. Oh. Uh, hi, Jan. It's um, Elias from North Shore Books. Oh, it's Elias. <laughs> Hello, Elias. We like it when you call. Why is she so flirtatious? You've got a lovely, deep voice. Oh, um, well, well, thank you. I mean, I'm, I'm actually much less attractive in person, uh, but well, we don't care what you look like, Elias. <laughs> we just love that lovely voice of yours. And just as I'm starting to actually enjoy my day, about the saddest woman in the entire world interrupts. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm sorry, but I don't suppose that there'd be such a thing as a perfect book for a very sad 90-year-old woman who has trouble with her eyes and she's in a nursing home, is there? Hello, I'm here for the release book. Uh, hi, would you mind just holding one moment? Um, This lady, look at me. I've been looking for two months and I just, I can't seem to find the right thing. I, I, I can't seem to find find the right thing to, to cheer her up, and now she's kind of choking and talking to herself, so maybe she doesn't need an answer. How much is the Bill Leakes book? Um, Bill Leakes book, yes, it's uh, uh, $45. Bloody hell, that much? You must be joking. Probably not even worth asking if you take American Express. Uh, well, um, actually we do, and thank God the phone is ringing. Hello, this is Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Would you mind just, just holding for one moment? I mean, I don't see how you can turn customers away like this. I mean, I pay enough fees on me own, but $35 is... Hello, this is Gladys. You know, oh, I, used to get a, I used to get a musical carriage, you know. There was one about the Queen, and, and you'd open it up and she'd sing... Look, I, please, just, 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 please, just... Listen to what I am telling you. Hello, this is Gladys. Please, just listen to what I am telling you. There was no surcharge on American Express! Hello, this is Gladys speaking. <laughs> hi, 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 Gladys. How, how are you? Uh, well, I'm not too well, actually. Uh, my friend's in hospital and, well, she can't see very well. And she was just wondering if uh, you could find her a funny little thing about cats, you know? Do you have something? Well, would you mind, uh, you know, coming in and actually checking out a variety of, of, of hilarious cat books? And, 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 oh! Hi, mate, I'm just here to get me hair cut. But uh, I'll leave you to water that and I'll go get me hair cut. No, do you want Mr. Chicken Goes to Paris? I'd like to see Mr. Chicken Goes to Paris. But I only want to see the part where Mr. Chicken actually goes to Paris. And my amazing sister is having an amazing baby. And, well, you know, she just wants a classic. I just want a classic for my baby. Do you have a classic? And, hi, I'm here for the cat books. And I don't remember the title, but the cover is blue.